President Trump's campaign says Thursday's rally in Minneapolis is back on and it won't be giving the city any money for added security. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hawker. We have team coverage of the president's event. Paul Bloom is talking to downtown business owners with safety concerns. Yeah, but we start with Theo Keith tonight. And Theo, a war broke out when Minneapolis tried to force the president to pay up before the rally. Well, this is a fast moving story. And just in the past hour, the Trump campaign said suddenly that Thursday night's rally will go on as scheduled. That was very much in doubt for most of the day when the city of Minneapolis tried to get the Trump campaign to prepay for police overtime and other security costs. This is not a political decision. Mayor Jacob Fry says it's not a shakedown to demand President Donald Trump's campaign pay $530,000 before Thursday night's rally at Target Center. Fry says the city needs $400,000 for police overtime, another $130,000 for street closures, barriers, and other public works changes. When you look at it in context, this is reasonable. Uh, and it's my job to look for out for the taxpayers of Minneapolis, and we're doing just that. The Trump campaign threatened to sue, though a Tuesday deadline imposed by the campaign came and went. In a tweet, Trump said Fry's action was probably illegal, yet said, see you Thursday night. Both the city and Minnesota Republicans are preparing as though Thursday's rally will happen. People are making plans. They want to see their president live, and we're very excited for Thursday and what's to come with it. The arena seats 20,000 people, and anti Trump activists expect thousands of protesters outside. So, who is going to pay? Federal law doesn't require campaigns to reimburse cities, and often they don't. For months after a Trump rally in February, El Paso, Texas has been publicly asking, without success, for nearly $500,000. The Minneapolis request is far more than what the city required for a President Obama health care rally at Target Center in 2009. And city officials tell Fox 9 they have no record of ever billing the Trump campaign for a small private fundraiser at the convention center in 2016. Asked whether a Democrat would also be forced to pay, Fry said this. It'll be applied evenly and fairly, yes. We had not yet gotten a full accounting from city officials for their cost estimate or why it varied so much and was so much higher than for political events in past years when, again, suddenly the Trump campaign said late this afternoon, that everything was back on again and that it, the campaign, would not pay any extra costs. That seems to leave the taxpayers on the hook for whatever the city's extra costs will be, though Mayor Fry said in a statement just a few minutes ago to me that he hinted at least that he could go after the Target Center operator for some of those additional costs per the city's contract with that operator. Live downtown, Theo Keith, Fox 9.